Where is she now? Steffi Graf Steffi Graf's illustrious career earned her numerous accolades, and even after her retirement in 1999, her achievements continue to shine brightly. Not one for media engagements during her tennis days, the German star has embraced a more reclusive life since stepping away from the sport. So where is she today? Let's find out. In the world of tennis, one name reigns supreme, Steffi Graf. Over her remarkable 17-year professional career, she soared to astonishing heights, capturing 22 Grand Slam titles, more than 100 WTA singles championships, and even an Olympic gold medal. Graf was known for her icy coolness on the tennis court and remained incredibly focused on the sport for many years. Born on June 14, 1969, in Mannheim, Germany, Stephanie Maria Graf was introduced to tennis by her father, Peter Graf who also coached her in her early years. A child prodigy, Steffi's passion for the sport was evident from a tender age. At just five years old, she played her first tournament, and though it ended in tears after a defeat, she refused to be discouraged, returning the next year to triumph in the junior tournament, a testament to her indomitable determination. By the time she turned eight, Steffi's commitment to tennis was unwavering. She left school to pursue her dreams on the professional circuit, with her father handling the logistical aspects, allowing her to focus entirely on honing her game. Despite her immense talent, Peter Graf was careful not to let his young prodigy burn out too soon, ensuring she balanced her love for the sport with rest and recovery. Her breakthrough came at the age of 17, when she secured her first Grand Slam victory. The following year, she etched her name in history by accomplishing the extraordinary Golden Slam, winning all four Grand Slams and an Olympic gold medal. Yet in 1990, her career faced a perilous twist when her father was imprisoned for tax evasion. A devastating blow for Steffi, who owed so much to his support. Reflecting on the challenges, she confessed, I was thinking of quitting everything, leaving Germany, tennis, everything. However, her passion for the game burned fiercely, pushing her to persevere through the turmoil and continue her remarkable journey. From 1987 through the mid-90s, Steffi Graf's dominance in tennis knew no bounds. Renowned for her unwavering poise and pursuit of perfection, she held the world number one title for a staggering 377 weeks, a feat unparalleled in the sport's history. Her illustrious career not only earned her sporting acclaim, but also secured her position as the highest-earning female athlete of the time. After enduring a challenging period due to knee surgery in 1997, tennis champion and Steffi Graf faced an uphill battle to reclaim her former glory. The setback led to a drop in her rankings for the first time in over a decade. Despite her triumphant return with a Grand Slam victory in Paris in 1999, a profound realization dawned on her. The joy of playing tennis had diminished. With a heart full of contentment and no regrets, she announced her retirement from the sport that had defined her life for so long. Steffi Graf's exceptional skills and adaptability on various tennis surfaces have earned her a well-deserved place among the greatest players of all time. In 2009, the Associated Press bestowed upon her the title of the greatest female tennis player of the 20th century. Esteemed tennis writer Steve Flink echoed this sentiment in his book, The Greatest Tennis Matches of the 20th Century, where he crowned her as the best female player of the century. Graf's legacy in the sport stands as a testament to her unrivaled talent and lasting impact. Without any doubt, Steffi Graf has etched her name in the history books as one of the greatest tennis players of all time. Despite achieving numerous accolades and immense success during her tennis career, one might expect Steffi Graf to be a prominent public figure and play a significant role in the world of tennis today. However, that is not the case. Before we move on, we know you wouldn't want to miss out on more exclusive content like this. So make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with all the latest in the world of tennis. Upon retiring, Steffi vowed to step away from the public eye, shying away from interviews, sponsor appearances, and contractual obligations. In an age where many athletes find it challenging to stay away from the limelight, Steffi's commitment to her promise sets her apart, embracing a life of privacy and contentment.
Since stepping away from the tennis courts, Steffi shifted her focus to noble causes, particularly her charitable foundation, Children for Tomorrow, and her sports management company. While her love life had been kept low profile during her career, fate had something extraordinary in store for her. She found love in the arms of fellow tennis star Andre Agassi, and their union brought her the best of both worlds, the excitement of love and fulfilling family life. Together, they exchanged vows in Las Vegas on October 22, 2001, and soon after, they welcomed two beautiful children, Jaden Gill and Jazz L, into their lives. For Steffi, motherhood became a cherished role, and she joyfully supports her children in their endeavors. With her son excelling as a rising basketball star, she is a devoted presence at his matches, witnessing his growth with pride. Today, Steffi Graf calls Summerlin, Las Vegas her home, where she resides with her loving husband, Andre Agassi. Alongside them, her mother and brother, along with their families, share the warmth of family bonds under one roof. Stepping away from the glitz and glamour of fame, Steffi Graf chose a path less traveled by declining numerous offers to be in the spotlight. When a German tournament enticed her with a hefty appearance fee for a simple photo shoot and ribbon cutting, she politely turned them down. Producers seeking documentaries were met with a similar response. Graf preferred to remain elusive. Even at a special event celebrating the 40th anniversary of the WTA, where former number one players from different generations gathered, Graf was notably absent. Despite her incredible achievements and long-standing record, she chose not to attend, staying true to her preference for a private life. However, since her retirement, Graf did participate in a few exhibition matches. In 2005, she joined the Houston Wranglers in a world team tennis tie, winning her mixed doubles match. Subsequently, she faced off against Kimiko Date in an exhibition match in Tokyo, and although she lost, she emerged victorious against her old rival, Martina Navratilova. A heartwarming moment occurred in 2009 when Graf and her husband Andre Agassi played a mixed doubles match at Wimbledon to inaugurate the newly constructed roof over center court. Although they lost to Kim Kleisters and Tim Henman, the event was a special occasion that highlighted the enduring love between the two tennis legends. Beyond her appearances on the court, Graf has been dedicated to charitable ventures, particularly the foundation Children for Tomorrow, which she founded in 1998. The organization supports children and adolescents affected by war and organized violence, a cause close to Graf's heart. She remains deeply involved in its operations, embodying the spirit of giving back to the community. Amidst the tennis world's yearning for more of her presence, Steffi Graf remains a towering champion with a peripheral profile. Some express disappointment, hoping players would give back to the sport as much as they gain from it. Yet one cannot help but admire Graf's unwavering convictions. In Las Vegas, where top players, often associated with Adidas, gather to train under Agassi's longtime fitness guru, Gil Reyes, Graf makes rare appearances. Limber and agile as ever, she assumes the role of a hitting partner, showcasing her timeless skills and inspiring opponents to half-jokingly challenge her for a comeback. Yet, it is through her charitable work with Children for Tomorrow that Graf's commitment truly shines. Quietly supporting the organization, she addresses the mental health of children and families affected by violence, war, and persecution. This cause holds a special place in her heart. What's your thought about Steffi Graf's quiet lifestyle? Let us know in the comment section below. If you loved this video, then you should check out this video showing on your screen. See you there!